Welcome to Asthma MD video tutorials. Today we're talking about asthma, medications made simple. Hello, Dr. Vashant. Hello there. So I understand that there are two main medications for asthma. That's right. So help me understand this so it's simple. Sure. Remember, asthma is a chronic condition of airway inflammation. As a result, there are two main types of asthma medications. One to deal with a chronic condition that we call controller medication. And the second type is a rescue medicine taken for asthma flare-ups. The controller medication must be taken consistently as prescribed by your physician. The duration of the treatment is really based on asthma severity. Some people have to take it throughout the year, others for a short period of time. Just so some may recognize the medication names, what are some examples of controller medication? In the United States, people have heard about controller medicines with names such as Chuvar, Flovent, Asmonex, and others. So we talked about controller medication, and there's also a second type, which is the rescue medication. The main rescue medicine is albuterol, which temporarily opens up your airway to relieve asthma symptoms such as wheezing, cough, shortness of breath. But the effect of albuterol doesn't last too long, about four to six hours. Okay, so controller medication is like preventative, more for long term, and rescue medication is like quick relief. Okay. That's correct. As a matter of fact, a lot of people make the mistake of stopping their control medications too early, which could lead into asthma attacks. To help you, there are reminders built into the Asthma MD mobile app. So what's an easy way for us to use this medication? The recommended way is to have an asthma action plan written by your physician, which details how and when to use your asthma medications. Okay, that was, that was helpful. So what else is important for us to know about asthma medication? A few things. If you're taking more than two rescue medications per week, your asthma is not well controlled. Be sure to check your asthma regularly to help you have, we've provided the free asthma MD app. Be sure to have an up-to-date asthma action plan. Um, for better accuracy, we do recommend asthma MD uh, peak flow meter. Lastly, it's critical to check the expiration of your medication because it is not very obviously written on the canisters. So find out what the expiration is, write them with a marker on the actual canister so you can easily see it. And if you do get medication that are very similar looking, it's best to identify them properly for R for rescue and C for control of medication. That is excellent, excellent advice because I wouldn't have thought of that. That's fantastic. Thank you so much, Dr. Prashant. You're welcome. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have been paying attention and writing down notes. We hope to see you and make sure you check out other asthma MD tutorial videos.